Welcome back everyone. Today we have a, another One Piece TCG item. Uh, it is a very long box, so I don't think I'll be able to fit it in, but it is the One Piece Japanese first anniversary set that came out about a year and two months after the initial set. So, not sure how that works, but sure. Let's just uh, get right into it. Yeah, I have no idea how this opens, so we will see. Oh, there's a big flap. Alrighty. Uh, back in two seconds. We're all one second. This cut open. Alrighty. Uh, well, let's just jump right in. Inside the uh, big box, there is a slightly smaller box. I don't think there's anything in the uh, end. Nope, just packaging. Let's uh, get that out of the way. Alrighty. So, another box. Just says the One Piece card games. Uh, in a sleeve, so we can take that one off. Inside, there is a very nicely, uh, what's that? It's Luffy, and it's just like a shadow art with the, uh, the gloss side, which is very cool. Very nicely put together. So on the side, just the uh, first NSFET box. The ends, just the uh, One Piece card game, same with the other side and same with the other end. So very nicely put together. Take the uh, top shell off. Inside, we have what appears to be a deck box. Well, the box itself is designed to hold cards. Some card sleeves and a play mat. And another spacer. One thing, these boxes have a lot of boxes in them. Uh, I guess we'll do what we did the last time with the Three Brothers one. We'll put the play mat out first and uh, go from there. I've got to go the right way around. So, much like the first playmat, uh, a sort of rubber base with a uh, felt top. Uh, the art on the front of Luffy in sort of sketch. It's not really sketch, it's more of that sort of uh, calligraphy brush sort of style. Uh, that's, in, that's in full show here. Very nice. And a slightly holographic uh, One Piece logo. Honestly, just due to the, uh, the subtleness of it, I think I, uh, I think I prefer this one over the, uh, the last playing that. Very cool. And just the uh, One Piece first anniversary uh, logo on the bottom there. All right, we will use that as the opening for the, uh, the rest of all this. So we have a the first lot of Cards. They're all going to be the same, so we'll just pull one out. So, just the One Piece TCG logo on this sort of teal, teal background. I don't have any cards to show off yet, but uh, there is another box, so we might leave it to the side for that. So, very nice. Second pack is, well, also card sleeves, but this one is of the, again, the calligraphy drawing of Luffy. There we go. Okay. Shut off the, uh, the empty box there. Fantastic for uh, if you have a lot of, uh, lot of cards that you want to store, which, honestly, there are hundreds, 
thousands at this point, maybe. And as for the deck box, I can't remember if there was any special cards with this set, so if there is, they'll be in here, I guess. Oh, there is one. So we'll put Tamar to the side for a second. But just the uh, the box itself, again, just the teal colour, one piece logo set, and the first anniversary, first anniversary card divider. Oh, there's a few in here. So we can use some of those card sleeves. Up first we have... Otama from set one. I mean, these are going to be alternate arts, so very nice. We have a Makino from set two with a, a young Luffy and Shanks in the background there. I think, yep, lucky last, we have Marco from set three. This is a Marco I'm thinking of. I swear there's like the third or fourth alternate art for him. But very nice. And just a second. Set it down a bit. So, very cool. Alright, give me a second. I'll uh, jump back. There is a second box we have to open. Alrighty, up next we have the Premium Card Collection Live Action Edition. So this one, hopefully, I have open it a bit better this time. Haha. <laughs> so this is uh this is all the cards off the One Piece live action television series. I showed the box the first time around for the other one. It's just a box. Alrighty, I will try to fit them all in, but like usual, uh, I do not have the room. Alright, so just all the straw hats on the front there. And then all of us. All of the uh, all the actors. We will go around. Do I know the actors' names? Uh, unfortunately, not. So we will start off with a uh, Dracul Mihawk and Arlong. Even though there's just obviously the photos of the actors dressed up, they've still done very well with their cards. I'll do my usual fancy stuff. Alright, uh, then we have uh, Monkey D. Luffy and Shanks. Moving over to the other side, we have Roronora Zoro and Nami. In the middle, we have a Monkey D. Luffy again. And at the bottom end, we finish up with Sanji and Usopp. And on the back, it's just uh, just all the cards of their standard form. Not too bad. Just cutting this back in. Uh, all of them are promo cards. So, if you're trying to get, collect all the promos, uh, you will need to get this. Again, it's one of those things, though, with the... Uh, Especially, I mean, it's just the promotional material. Nothing's, nothing's really new with them. Still pretty cool. Alrighty. We actually have another one as well. So this is the One Piece Premium Card Collection Best Selection. I don't know why, but they released all this stuff on the exact same day. Just to prove it. There's, there's little, little on the back. So this one for me is a bit more cool, a bit more impressive because you're going to have new art for existing cards rather than just the sort of photos like the other one is. Alrighty. Also, there's more cards. Uh, I will go through a row at a time 
because I'm going to have to do more fancy flipping. So, I guess we'll go with bottom right and finish up with top right. So up first we have uh, Thunderbolt. God, these are... All the, a lot of them, most of them, have the uh, that sort of effect pattern in the background as well, which is really nice. Up next we have Ice Age. And then Blast Breath. Moving on to the character cards, we have uh, Charlotte Amande. I really should have been specifying which... I should have specified the other one as well, honestly. They're all alternate arts. This is uh, set 3, set 2, set... starter deck 4. Uh, set 4 uh, for Charlotte Amande. Uh, then we have set 2 for Tsuru. And starter deck five for Buena Festa. Can I feel, nope. So we'll again go around the, the opposite direction. Then we have uh, Curly Dan Dan from set two. We have Nami, also from set two. I believe that was the. Uh, is that the third or. F is that another. One that they've just redone several dozen times now. <laughs> There's more cards. Um, then we have Pacifista from Starter Deck 3. Uh, oh, so the characters were all on the left page and the events were all on the right page. Okay, moving on to back to the events, we have a Radical Beam from Set 1. Paradise Waterfall from Set 1. And Love Love Mellow from Starter Deck 3. So. Some very cool cards there. Again, the just the alternate art ones are just very impressive. And then once more, all of the uh all of the cards on the back there. And actually there's one more. Lucky last. It is the oh, I hit the camera again. It is the One Piece card game a special good set form of four emperors. At least they specified it was the form of four emperors. On the other side, same thing, form of four emperors. Yeah, this one I have opened it correctly, thankfully. So, there is another card map. Uh, which one do I like better? Definitely the Luffy one. Well, I mean, really, I've only seen... We'll see in a sec. Uh, we will unravel that one and have a look. There is tape on the inside holding it all, all the other things together. Side for a second. So the camera goes flying. Up first, there is uh, Big Mum, followed by Whitebeard, Shanks, Kaido. Very nicely drawn. Uh, I don't know who drew them, but uh, they've done a very good job. Though I still do prefer the uh, the Luffy one. Alrighty, just the instructions on how to build the deck box. We have the deck box, and also. From a set to an Edward Newgate leader card, uh, alternate art. So hopefully I can get this up without damaging. Oh, why do they put tape over something that's flexible? See, now the problem is I've got to get the card out, and there's tape over either side. This one I actually might rip the side to try and get the card out. Here we go. So, I get a card, Edward Newgate. 
not too bad, although I do wish that they would, uh, have more, like, what's the word, consistency, a theme with the sets. Alrighty, uh, well, I'll probably quickly build this and, uh, we'll see how it looks at the end. Alrighty, so on the front, just the card game, the 2023 championships. On either side, nothing on the back, and just the uh, the drawing of the original four emperors on the front. So, very, very well done. I'll uh, rearrange quickly, and I'll be back in a sec. Well, that's everything for today. Quite a lot came out at once, but uh, again, it's always always impressive. Well, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.